Good morning. I'm Jay Cormier, founder and CEO of Idaptic, and welcome to Vision Tech Talks. Today, we're joined by Dr. Mehta, our Chief Medical Officer, to discuss the future of Idaptic. Dr. Mehta, welcome. How are you doing? Doing great, Jay. How's it going? Great. Well, thanks again for joining us on Vision Tech Talks. Uh, I'm really excited. We have a lot of things to talk about, and it's been a great series so far. Yeah, it's been great. Can you believe that we've been at this since 2015? I, that's, I guess, when we first met um, back in Orange County. And uh, what's really gratifying to see is we finally got our first patent issued uh, after four years. And uh, that's just the beginning. Yeah, it's, it's amazing to see this beautiful plaque from the U.S. Patent Office saying, what you've done, no one's ever done this before. That's right, and that's just the first of many. Uh, we know we have a pipeline of patents. I think we've got nine more pending at the moment. So uh, what's really gratifying about this patent portfolio is all this new technology that's finally gonna be coming into our new products. Yeah, it's amazing. The hardware finally caught up to the software, and now we can actually help people see better with all of this technology that we've been building all of these years, and we can put it in people's hands and on their faces. Exactly, and, and now that that hardware is finally caught up, why don't we take a look at our new products, give a quick overview of those, and then talk about what's coming after that. Sounds great. So um, back to our new products, we have a couple of them that have been coming to market and are ready to go, and I thought we should just give a real quick recap on what they are and how things are gonna get even better in the future. So you have the i3 there, I have the i4 here, of course, the important thing is these both have a common user interface. So people can always use one, upgrade to another uh, at will because it's exactly the same control features, right? Exactly. Um, what do you like about the i3 versus the i4? So one of the things I like the most about the i3 is you can see this battery pack right here. These are what we call hot swappable batteries. It has an internal battery which can power the device and when you wear it, it's all, all inside one thing. And so it fits on your face just like this, and if the battery's getting low, I can take this off and it can still run, and I can switch it to one of the other batteries that's in a battery case that's charging it, so then I can put this on, so then I constantly have battery power to the glasses. And it's all included into one device that's comfortable to wear all day long. And also, the image quality on this device is unparalleled, it's amazing. So this is really kind of a workhorse type of device that can really help basically everybody. Right. And I think the, the, out of fairness, the displays on both of these devices are fantastic. Not only do they offer 1080p, which is very high resolution, but they also offer both very wide field of view. Absolutely. And the wide field of view is really important because if you have a very narrow field of view, you basically have a tunnel vision. That's one of the advantages of our technique and what we've gone through for all of the devices that we've come to market with is to expand the field of view so people can actually walk around with the device. Exactly. And so the other thing I like about that one is because it's all self-contained, like you said, that really does offer the very best image quality because everything's integrated. Where something like this trades off um, not so much image quality, but trades off weight so all the processing's in the phone but you get something that's ultra lightweight, and of course, uh, dare I say, even stylish. So I think we've got a great lineup with these two products. And in the future, because we have everything connected now, this comes back to enabling the 5G. Absolutely. Having that connectivity is gonna be a big game changer. Thank you for watching Vision Tech Talks, and stay tuned for our next video.